Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeem here for, I believe, part 7 of my VGC Road to Rank where I take on the online ladder and uh, do my best. You know, learning VGC, it's really a learning experience for me. Um, oh, Gem is actually hitting me up as we uh, type this, so I'll be reading that on the side as I do this. But, uh, I really, what I really, really love about VGC is that even though they have the top 13 months, kind of similar to any tier, really. Um, for example, Smogon has, uh, it has an OU tier, but it has like the top 10 mons um, in it that would be like the best. Um, but what VGC is, it also has Pokemon like that, such as Charizard, Landorus, Rotom, Cresselia. But then it also has cool Pokemon. Um, I've actually really been enjoying watching Cybertron. If you guys don't know, Aaron Cybertron Zang. Aaron Cybertron Zang here. Uh, <laughs> and I really want to get him on this. We've both been really busy though, so it's really hard for us to find a time for us that we can both record. But I really want to get him on this. But um, what I was trying to say is that what I really love about VGC is even though it has it's really centralized by a few Pokemon, you can still uh, you can still use unique mods. Uh, and this is why I want to use this team again. It actually has an Escavalier. It's really really cool. And uh, I believe we're just gonna look for a battle. Uh, Aquabarry, Escavalier, Choice Scarf, Landers T. I believe it's Leftovers, Rotom, uh, Modest Zard. Wow, it Flamethrower and HP Ground. So pretty cool. Um, I believe it's Citrus Berry, Conqueror, and Rocky Helmet, Cresselia. I could be I could be wrong on a few things, but I know it's Trick Room. Um, Cresselia. So I believe what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause it until we find one and we'll be right back. All right, so we have found an opponent now. Uh, Hyde actually has Breloom, Mega Kangaskhan, uh, what is that? It's not Esper, it's um, <laughs> well I actually forgot the uh, name of the cat Pokemon. It's not Esper, I know it's the evolution of that and I was about to say Mesper, no. Some sort of combination of that. I actually can't remember. Mammal Swine, Arcanine, and Lipard. So my opponent has some Swagger. My opponent has some Screens. Sleeping Mon. You know it's really good versus his team. Uh, Escavalier. It actually beats five out of six of my opponent's team. Um, and I think I want to lay off a of Landers as well because Landers basically checks what uh, Escavalier is scared of, uh, being Arcanine, and also gets off the Intimidate on Kangaskhan as well as Breloom. And uh, what I can do is also just lead Rotom uh, in the back. Rotom checking the majority of his team. Bar Breloom, and uh, I think. Um, I might want to go the Trick Room option of Cresselia, uh, which soon support my um, Escavalier as well. So I believe I'm just going to lock in with those mons, and uh, my opponent actually decided to pick their Pokemon right away. So I guess, you know, we're going to be good right now. Um, I'm anticipating him to lead off with uh, Kangaskhan plus uh, Meowstic. That's the name of the Pokemon. Wow. I knew I, I was thinking a Mesper. Why did I remember the baby uh, version of it? But he actually ends up leading off with Breloom plus um, plus Lipard. So this isn't too bad of a lead. Uh, I do have Overcoat on my Scavalier, so he cannot put me to sleep, as well as getting off the Intimidate of both of my opponent's Pokemon. Unfortunately though, um, Lipard does like to fake out, and I don't want him faking out plus sleep powdering my Landers. So what I'm actually gonna do is go for the uh, Megahorn onto the Breloom slot and actually pull back my Landers. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go out to Cresselia. It's kind of a weird play, but um, assuming this connects on Breloom and he's not Focus Sash, I can knock him out. So, I'm going to pull back my uh, Landorus. I don't think I had any of the play right there. Maybe I could have went for U-Turn on his Lipar, but I'm really anticipating him to fake out the uh, Landorus slot, as he does. And um, the Rocky Helmet actually breaks his Focus Sash, his potential Focus Sash, as he goes for Spore onto that slot as well. So that's fine. My Cresselia goes to sleep. Uh, it's really fat anyway, so it's not like it really honestly minded and hopefully I'm able to get off this mega horn onto the Breloom slot so thankfully it does connect as uh, Breloom is gonna go down to its focus sash and I believe what I want to do is just go right for the uh, the iron head onto the Breloom slot knocking it out ensuring that KO and Cresselia I, I don't I don't want to take a knockoff but I'm just gonna attempt to trick room with my Cresselia right here I don't want to switch back out of my Landers because I want my Choice Scarf for the potential Kangaskhan uh, as well as um, his Arcanine which can potentially outspeed me. I believe it's running max speed or near max speed. Not too sure what Arcanine runs, but the fact that Breloom is down to his Focus Sash, he could pull back his Breloom honestly and bring out that Arcanine, but the fact that it's down to his Focus Sash is, um, it's basically neutralized. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure, he actually ends up mock punching my uh, Scavalier. I was honestly expecting a superpower as well as foul playing um, my Scavalier slot. So a good play on my opponent's part. Um, misses out on the KO though as I'm able to knock out the Breloom with the Iron Head and uh, Cresselia is going to burn the first turn of sleep right here. So 
Um, that's good because I can potentially wake up in the following turn. Oh, this is the basic. That was that one turn of sleep that I was 100% going to take. But brings out Kangaskhan. I am okay with this because what I can do is just um, protect with my Escavalier and uh, try and wake up with my um, Cresselia and go for another Trick Room. Honestly, um, he's more than likely going to fake out. He could power up punch. I want to prevent that as well. And if I get on my Trick Room, that'd be really, really nice. Uh, because I will be able to, um, assuming his Lapar doesn't have Sucker Punch, I don't think they pack Sucker Punch, it would be, what is it, Fake Out, Encore, uh, Foul Play is something that I didn't see, and then Swagger or Thunder Wave, but Foul Play is something I didn't see coming. Um, the only downside of me going for Protect is that he can definitely go for Encore and lock me into that, but that might be something that I'll be willing to risk, but if I get up this Trick Room, I should be good in general. Though it does, it's kind of... It might seem a bit detrimental just because I do have Choice Scarf Landers in the back, but it's also just a bird to turn to sleep. It is my best play anyway. As he goes for Fake Out onto the Cresselia slot, so he's going to be taking a lot of damage from the Rocky Helmet, which I am okay with. That actually puts him in range of sewer power from my Landers 100%, no matter what variant he is. As, um, as Light Party is going to go for the foul play. Cresselia does wake up, but flinches. Um... I don't want him to, I don't want him to power punch my Escavalier, I also don't want him to foul play, uh, I think my best play is just going out to Rotom and then going for the Trick Room anyway because I don't anticipate him to return my Escavalier slot and even if he does power up punch, what I can do is after getting up this Trick Room, uh, bringing out my Rotom and I can burn his Kangaskhan and deal with it. My Scavalier will still be able to smack him in the Trick Room. So, then we'll draw my Scavalier as he did not make any switches, didn't expect him to, as he does go for that Encore onto the Scavalier slot and goes for Sucker Punch onto my Cresselia. Really interesting. I guess he doesn't have, uh, I guess he doesn't have, um, Power Punch, otherwise he would have went for it. Maybe he's low kick, but I'm just gonna burn the Kangaskhan slot and actually pull back my Cresselia into... He's going to Encore my Cresselia slot, but I can't do anything with that, about that. I think what I'm going to do is just burn the uh, burn the Kangaskhan slot and pull back my Cresselia into my uh, Landorus. Uh, it could be risking a foul play. I don't anticipate him to foul play my Cresselia. Alternatively, I could have burnt the Live part, but again, I'm not... I don't know why, I'm just not seeing the light part as a threat. Maybe it is, and I'm just playing this poorly. Uh, obviously, you guys can tell me if, that, if you think that I am, but I'm just going out into my... Uh, my lander is just to get off that Intimidate on Kangaskhan. I know it's not going to affect Foul Play because Foul Play is my attack stat, not his, but... Hmm. We'll see how this works out. Um... I, I really do anticipate him to go for the... I don't know why he keeps Sucker Punching. I'm not going to attack him, or I'm not going to stay with my Crest anyway, but uh, I do connect with the Will-O-Wisp on his Kangaskhan, which is really, really, really nice for me, as I can actually go for the burn onto the Lipart slot and uh, actually pull back that Landorus again into my um, into my Cresselia. Um, I don't want Landorus to take a foul play. Uh, I also don't want him to Encore... I mean, I don't care if he encores Rotom. He can't encore a Landers. I mean, if you can encore and intimidate, I would take it. But I think that I think that um, my best bet is just switching out um, Landers. Honestly, uh, Kangaskhan is not going to do anything. It's minus one plus the burn. It can't boost. It probably doesn't have power up punch. If it did, should have went for it. He actually goes for Ice Punch. That's something I did not see coming. And that's actually going to let him take a lot of damage from not only the burn that turn, but the two hits he's going to get with the Rocky Helmet. Though I guess he could freeze me, which would be a little bit annoying. But it doesn't really matter as um, he allows me to connect. Or he allows me to go for Will-O-Wisp on Lipar. Nothing he could have done about that, honestly. So I'm able to burn the Lipar. It probably also had a Focus Sash too, so that doesn't really matter. As Foul Play is going to do literally zero to my, uh, to my Rotom. Literally zero to my Rotom. And... Um, I mean, what I can do is just Ice Beam the Kangaskhan. I don't really mind that too much. Trick Room is still up. Uh, Hydro Pump will easily knock out the Light Part. I could also go for Thunderbolt, actually. I think Thunderbolt is better onto the Light Part slot. And just Ice Beam the, uh, and just Ice Beam the Kangaskhan. I don't care if he encores my Rotom into Will-O-Wisp. It won't make a difference, honestly. Ice Beam will knock out the Kangaskhan at, like, 4% that it's at. And, um, he actually ends up de seeing. so, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm fine with that. I want to continue battling though. If my opponent wants to DC, that's fine. You still lose points for that. So we're going to 
Don't look at my part. Don't look at my battle box. It's uh, it's pretty bad. But we're gonna look for another battle, guys. And I will pause it until we find one, and we will be right back. All right, so we found a battle now. My opponent's ooh, my opponent has a Scavalier plus Kirkroom as well. I like his team. I actually like his team a little bit better than mine. Um, my HP ground Zard Y actually puts in a lot of work, so I want to lead off with Zard. Plus, I think I want to lead off with my Landers just to get off that Intimidate. Um, my Scavalier in the back is really nice. I'm not sure if I want to lead off with bring crest though because what I can do I, I definitely want to bring a scavalier um, I think Zarya is really nice in this game it has HP ground for his heat ran and everything else is to a KO or O code uh, a scavalier is really nice as well and um, it's between Rotom or uh, Cresselia Cresselia supporting my scavalier uh, Rotom of course just being nice in general versus his team I think Rotom is smarter in the back. I kind of wanted to bring Conkle there for his uh, Kangaskhan, but we should be good versus Kangaskhan with the Intimidates plus the Burning from will o -Wisp. So I think we should be good in this game. I'm anticipating him to lead off with Kangaskhan plus Cresselia, maybe Landorus plus Kangaskhan, anything along those lines in all honesty. Um, but I think my Landorus just Charizard is just a good lead in general versus my opponent. And uh, if he leads off with Kangaskhan, I can just U-turn or... Uh, he might just be a bulky Kangaskhan because he's running Trick Room. I'm not entirely sure. That's always something that I want to keep in mind. Uh, maybe in that case, then Cresselia or my Conqueror would have been good. but Or even Conqueror plus uh, Charizard, but he could have Stone Edge on his landers as well as Rock Slide. Um, but of course, that's something I'll keep in mind as we're playing. Of course, I'm still learning as we play these games, so hopefully I do. Okay, but uh, what's his name? Churi? That's how you pronounce that? Churi. I'm not entirely sure. But... Um, again, like I said, I'm anticipating the Kangaskhan lead, and I, like I said, I'm also going to try and get Aaron on these in the future. It's really hard. He's going to college. He has an internship and doing all that stuff, but he actually ends up leading off with uh, Charizard, uh, with his, um, what's it called? With his Kangaskhan plus his Heatran, so this is actually really nice to me. I get off not only the Intimidate, but I also scare out his Heatran with the Earthquake. Um, I'm going to protect with my uh, Charizard. I'll Mega Evolve in the next turn since I'm not going to be attacking because I don't want to boost his uh, I don't want to boost his uh, Heat Wave and I'll just Earthquake with my Landers. Even if he wants to pull back into his own Landers or Cresselia, I do not care. As uh, also if he wants to substitute up with his Heat Ran after um, after after basically going for the Fake Out on my Landers because I am anticipating the Fake Out onto the Landers slot and either a sub or something like that. But gonna protect on my Charizard. No point in Mega Evolving when I'm not going to be abusing my Sun this turn as he fakes out my Landers slot like I did anticipate and I'm anticipating uh, maybe a sub from his uh, heat ran yep but he does not know I do have the HP ground and um, that is gonna after I break his sub with earthquake that is gonna hurt that is gonna hurt that is definitely gonna hurt I can actually go for the um, I believe I can actually go for the mega evolution flamethrower the uh, Kangaskhan slot and go for Earthquake right here just to 100% break his sub. Um, though I am powering up his Heat Wave, which is kind of scary for me. Uh, again, he doesn't know I have HP ground and a Heat Ram behind his sub is a little bit annoying. Kangaskhan, I don't want to not attack it and basically miss out. And I'm pretty sure a spread Earthquake plus a full power modest flamethrower onto the Kangaskhan slot will be able to uh, knock him out. This is a really interesting set. Uh, I think Braviarius made this team and um, never seen flamethrower in VGC. I said that before when I use this team, and also never seen HP ground, but it's really cool, I think. Especially because it gets it does what it's supposed to do. He could also protect with his um with his heat ran, which is fine. Um, because if he does, I just get to earthquake him in the following turn and then go for HP ground from there. But gonna mega evolve right there. Uh, get my Zard Y straight out because of the intimidate. I am not fearing um his Kangaskhan at all. It cannot knock me out, though, of course, um boosting his sun could be a little bit scary, especially because he can return plus. You can basically just return plus uh, plus heat wave, and I think it'll do a lot to my uh, to my Zard. But I think that's enough for a flamethrower to knock him out. Um, as I am able to break the heat ran sub, now it's all I actually outspeed him too. So this is a modest flamethrower. This should definitely be able to knock out his Kangaskhan after that damage. So Kangaskhan goes straight down without doing absolutely anything, as he's gonna go for his own flamethrower. Okay, I did not see that coming. Um, and with the sun boost, that's easily gonna be able to knock me out. So, really, really a crazy turn right there. I think um, I do have Rotom in the back though, and uh, I'm gonna go right out into that because Rotom actually does really well versus my opponents. The majority of my opponents' team, Kangaskhan being the only thing that I felt that could outright damage my Rotom from my opponent. 
And uh, if he wants to go Landers, that is completely fine. I do have HP Ground on this Charger, which I feel is really going to catch him off guard. Of course, he could have Solar Beam. That would be pretty interesting. <laughs> now, I don't think I have Solar Beam on his Heat Ram, but I'm anticipating Landers to want to come out. If he goes Cresselia, I will HP Ground his uh, Heat Ram right off the 100%, uh, but I'm, assu I'm assuming Landers is going to come out. But he goes Cresselia, so what I'm actually going to do is go right for the uh, HP Ground onto the Heat Ram slot and uh, I believe target it with the Thunderbolt 2, that way I can 2 KO him. I think Cresselia is going to set up a Trick Room right here and I don't anticipate his Heat Ram actually going for sub. I also don't anticipate him going for Protect, um, honestly just because, what? why? He sees Zard Y, Sun is up so he's not really fearing Rotom's Hydro Pump at all. But if he wants to protect that, it's completely fine. I really think this turn is crucial. Unfortunately, he does protect as I dual attack him. So I'm going to be revealing the HP ground. That's a little bit annoying, but honestly, the protect just... Um, protect is fine because even uh, if he gets off that Psychic, I don't really mind. That doesn't. It's not going to do anything to my Rotom anyway, uh, as he actually does not set up a Trick Room either. So I believe, again, my best play is... Uh, while I'm anticipating Heat Ran to want to switch out, I'm actually going to burn the Cresselia and uh, I kind of want to make a play and go for the uh, flamethrower onto the heat ran slot anticipating Zapdos to want to come up. But I think what I'll do is actually double up on the crush this turn because I am anticipating the heat ran to want to switch out. What can heat ran do to me anyway? He already saw that I have HP ground so heat ran is going to pull back so if this turn works out perf uh, nice for me I'll be able to not only burn the uh, not only burn the Cresselia, but I'll also get off a full power flamethrower on it. He actually brings out Landers as his last. So, yeah, able to get off that flamethrower onto the Cresselia slot. That does a lot of damage, not gonna lie. As will o -Wisp thankfully connects, and it's looking like my Scavalier might actually be able to sweep up the game, or clean up the game in the end. Um, he goes for the Psychic onto my Charizard, does not do too much at all. And uh, I think what I wanna do is just go right for the Hydro Pump onto the uh, onto the lander slot get off enough damage onto it where basically a scavalier can knock it out we pop the Cresselia citrus berry I'm I don't think he'll have a uh, moonlight but it's still an option I'm gonna protect with my Charizard of course that is my best play and I want to hydro pump the landers I don't want to burn it just in case he decides to u-turn out into his heat ran as he actually goes for the helping hand so maybe he's going for the helping hand rock slide flinches which would be fine uh, maybe I should have burnt the landers but I guess I was fearing him pulling back into uh, he ran, but though in hindsight, that's not really something to fear. Gets off that full power uh, knockoff as he's actually a life orb uh, landers. That's cool. As I do connect with my, um, I do connect with my hydro pump. It's not gonna do too much in the, uh, in the, and uh, what's it called? In the uh, sun, but believe what I can do is just go right for solar beam and knock out the landers. It'll definitely knock him out. I don't know if he's running max speed, honestly. Um, I do kind of want to protect. Do I want to protect with my Rotom? Yeah, I'll protect the Rotom because Sun is going to wear out this turn. And assuming this works per perfectly for me, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure my Charizard will be able to outspeed his Landers and knock him out with the Solar Beam at 50%. But I don't want my Rotom to go down. Of course, if this does not work out, then I'll be losing my uh, Charizard this turn. But he protects with his Cresselia. Uh, interesting that he's running Protect. And we'll see if this actually works out. Unfortunately, he does outspeed my Charizard. Ah, that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> but Sun is going to go down. So, what can happen right here is... Uh, I don't think there was anything out different I could have done that turn. But Sun is going to go down. So, maybe my Aka Berry... Maybe my Aka Berry... Um, the Scavalier can actually win this game. So, we'll see if it can actually pull back this game right now. Uh, I believe he has to go for the Rock Slide onto the Rotom slot. Uh, as well as me as Scavalier. But I'm just going to go right for the Iron Head onto the Lantern slot. Um, alternatively, I could protect. I'm gonna actually protect my Escavalier. I think he has to go for Earthquake. No, he doesn't know I have Aka Berry. So I'm gonna Iron Head the Lander slot and try and double protect with my uh, Rotom because that way his. Um, well, he does have Flamethrower, so, uh, but I need my Rotom alive anyway. So I'm gonna attempt to double protect with my Rotom. It is a super small chance. I think it's what, like 30%? Um, something like that. And uh, we'll see if this actually works out for me, of course. If he goes for Rock Slide and misses on my Scavalier, I can definitely take a Flamethrower, at least one Flamethrower. I'm anticipating him to Rock Slide and Psychic, as he actually ends up going for Helping Hand. Well, that's also a play as well. So, we'll see if he actually... I do get the Double Protect off. Okay, so we're back in this game, guys. Definitely back in this game. As he goes for Rock Slide, um, my Scavalier avoids the attack. All right, so definitely this Hacks is working out in my favor as... Um, 
as his Landorus is going to go down, and Cresselia is severely, severely weakened. So it comes down to... It comes down to if a Scavalier... Definitely this is Hacks. I mean, probably should have lost this game. Um, more than likely should have burnt the Landorus slot. I didn't anticipate it to be Life Orb at all. I definitely didn't anticipate it also to outspeed my... Um, to outspeed my... Uh, my what's it called? I really didn't anticipate it to outspeed my um my charizard but i'm gonna drill run the heat ran slot i am off the berry though flamethrower is a direct target move so it will do a lot i'm actually just gonna hydro pump as well the cresselia slot and we'll see how this works out for me can a scavalier live a full power flamethrower right onto its slot i think it can with an aqua berry honestly i think it can but he's gonna protect his um he's gonna protect his uh he's gonna protect his hero which is fine because i get off this hydro pump onto the cresselia slot it is barely gonna miss out on the KO. It is barely gonna miss out on the KO. But, we saw Moonlight. Um... Uh-oh. This could be bad, because I don't want him to helping hand. Will he burn? Will he go down to burn? I think he'll actually go down to burn. He does go down to burn. So now it all comes down to, can a Scavalier live this, and can I knock it out with the full power drill? Well, drill run's always full power, but can I knock him out with the drill run? It comes down to this. 1v1. Escavalier, bro. Take it home. Come on, bro. You're shiny. Look at that armor. Look at that armor. You're charged up, bro. Alright. <laughs> he sees the Aqua Berry. No! He gets a crit! Oh my god! I would have been able to survive that, but I definitely... I definitely didn't deserve to win that game anyway because of the hacks that I got. But that crit, man. I knew I would have lived Flamethrower too because I've lived in Overheat before. With no sun, obviously. But, uh... <laughs> I think we're gonna leave it at that, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, definitely a few misplays on my part. I should have burnt the landers. I don't know why I was fearing him to go out to Heat Ran when I did have HP Ground Charizard. That's something I should have capitalized on. Um, though, obviously, that crit lost me the game. And, obviously, the hacks prior to that was what put me back in the game. But that's how VGC is, anyway. Rock Slide misses, Rock Slide flinches, all that stuff. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like if you did. I'll definitely bring bringing some new teams, some new cool stuff like Needle Queen. I saw Aaron use that and I really want to use it. Needle Queen is a really cool Pokemon. And uh, yeah, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want. And uh, stay tuned for more Pokemon Showdown. Some UCL this weekend. Some Subhub Friday. I'm, I'm Saturday, sorry. Sunday? Nope. <laughs> yeah, Sunday. And uh, yeah, guys, later.